Hello and welcome to this rousing, continuing fan favourite of a segment, which is the Worst of Series. In case you are new to this, you have a long backlog of lore to go into, such as the time that we actually acknowledge one of the commenters. Here's what happens, make sure you put your suggestions in the comments, but what we do is whatever you guys select, we go and look at the Google reviews because we have noticed something about this great brand land of ours, which is that the most Australian thing to do after a bitching about Dokovic online is complaining about products and services online. <laughs> there is going to be the most petty, whiny, pathetic complaints that you have ever read out of any comment across the country. I honestly think that we're gold medalists in this. It should be in the Olympics. It'd be us and then the British every year. And I think that you have intuitively picked up on that is what we're going for here because you have selected as the most requested in the worst of series history, cash converters. And might I just say before having read a single comment, excellent choice. Now, as always, when we are looking at members of the public, we are going on safari, all right? The aim is, I just realized that some safaris actually shoot the animals. It's not one of those safaris, it's one of the fun ones that you go on with your mum and you take nice little Pokemon snaps of things that aren't Pokemon, or are. They actually did mimic a lot of animals now that I think about it. I mean, for f***'s sake, Goldeen. So don't go tracking down these people. Don't go doxing them for the crime of not really understanding how the internet works. We also haven't used the specific location of these stores because even though they are cash converters employees, there is a slight chance that they're not absolute scum. So without further ado, we're starting with beep, because Safari, remember? They lure customers in with the promise of candy, but once there, they offer up nothing more than mulch. There has to be some interim between candy and mulch. See, guys, they're, they're still like laptops and shit. And why are they luring you in with candy? What, the saxophone out the front? That's the thing that dragged you in, was it? Uh <laughs> They advertise as top dollar, paid for good quality second-hand goods, but when exactly that is presented to them, they offer a tenth of its value. Yeah, it's a pawn shop, okay? It's like the McDonald's of pawn shops. What do you expect? You're getting a good deal when you sell to them, you f***ing idiot. You, <laughs> this is what I'm talking about. Right off the bat, oh, this business model that everyone knows exists, one star. It says more about you than it does them, and it does explain a lot why you were a cash converters customer in the first place. Oh, friendly Geordie shames the poor. Well, just because you don't have any money doesn't mean that you can't be stupid. One star take, my dude. Horrible. They sold my stolen bike. <laughs> I think the word you're searching for is not horrible, but funny. <laughs> I mean, it is unfortunate, but at the same time, sucked in. I love the way the staff treats the customers. I bought a wireless mouse today off of cash converters. Let me tell you what you bought there, buddy. You did buy a wireless mouse, but it used to have a wire. It's just somebody cut it off and said it was a wireless mouse. I asked the staff if the mouse worked. She said, yes. When I go home and test it, it does not work. Now I don't know what to do. <laughs> what a tragedy. Because he spent, are you ready for this? Two dollars. <laughs> and you had to ask the staff if it works. Look at that comically big sticker that's saying it was five dollars. It was five bucks to begin with. And then it got reduced to two dollars. That's not a sales sticker. It's a warning sign. Poor service if you want to loss money. <laughs> <laughs> this is going to be good. <laughs> then go and shop there. If not, what? Stay away. What the f are you trying to say? Better to buy from Facebook or Gumtree. Well, actually, that is some practical advice. There you go. Exposed. Friendly Geordies is paid by Big Gumtree. Also, learn how to answer your phones. I mean, come on. You're not having a liquidation sale and you're not completely busy. P.S. Never seen so many crackheads in one place. <laughs> no, no, that's not fair. They're not crackheads, they're meth heads. Apart from that one little blunder though, I have to say, you really have earned putting your one star review on there. That is as good as Anthony Bourdain going to Mexico and being like, crickets, mm, tastes like chips. You know what you're talking about. Ah, from Francois, finally, a touch of class to cash converters. Don't go there, they are just a thief. 
All right, the class has immediately apparated. But they're back at the beginning of June for 179 euro, I mean dollars, and ask the manager if it would be possible to sell back in two months. That is such a French request, isn't it? Excusez-moi, I have a very dainty, annoying, self-absorbed request from you, some migrant that knows English worse than me. Can you fulfill it to my desires even though I'm not communicating it properly? For sure, he said yes. Today, I went back there to try and sell it because I'm going back to France and they only offer me $30. Look buddy, I don't know how things operate in France, but you can't go around and do your f***ing tour de France of Australia and come back with all of these damn to the f***ing nub tyres and then expect the same amount of money back. It's just so much more annoying that he's French. All right, I take it back, actually. You know what it is? It goes, France, whiniest people on earth, and then Australia getting the silver. This is f***ing Kathy Freeman's race all over again. Au revoir, Cassie. They used and broke my electronic toothbrush, then refused to pay for repairs. This one can't be serious. Yeah? What? Cash converters took your toothbrush that you had in your mouth and went, yeah, give me a whirl. Yeah, no, nah, mate, sorry, this one's, yeah, no, we can't sell defective goods. I hope to God this wasn't during lockdowns. If I could give this so-called shop a zero or below, I would. Rube staff. It still kind of works even with the typo, it's just... <laughs> Hot diggity, someone sent in a sing star set. I'm gonna be like Britney Spears. That know nothing, very rude. I think he actually thinks that rude is spelt that way. Not welcoming at all. The stuff they try to sell are all overpriced rubbish. I beg of you, don't go there. Sell your stuff online and put this place out of business. I mean, geez, has this man ever heard of punishment fit the crime? He wants an entire franchise to go out of business because he met one person. Even if they are rude. What is the mindset of these people of, uh, yeah, well, if I had the ability to, if I was president of the United States, nuke him? Lower than zero stars. I went up to blank on my day off and decided to go to cash converters and picked up this game. All right, what is it? And unbox newbies adventure. That is exactly the game I would expect to see in a secondhand store. Finally got home in blank and opened it up only for it to not even have a disc inside. Quite a disappointment as I won't be able to actually make my way back up there and return it. He unboxed, unbox, and there was nothing inside. What a surprise. <laughs> and also on top of this, you're disappointed that you didn't get to play that. Cash Converters did you a favor, mate. You do realize why that's in Cash Converters in the first place. It was from some auntie giving it to some kid at Christmas. Oh, these are cute characters. And then that kid, sold it for whatever he could get for it. And then you, I assume, as a fully grown man, time to unbuck, unbuck, and no, what an unpleasant surprise. You must be one of 10 men in Australia that want to play that game. Took a pool cue in for a loan. Well, you're not using it right, mate. <laughs> Haven't you ever seen that movie with Tom Cruise? It's uh, not that good, don't bother. Actually, that's kind of mean. Everything that he does is gold. And when I retrieved it, it had been cut through the carbon fiber to see what was inside. I will never go there again. Hey, it's still usable. I mean, it's a cash converter. It's just go over to the ring set and pow! Grab and dash, man. <laughs> this one gets one star. The women, women. In there is a crabby old thing. What, is this woman like a hydra and every time you cut her head off, it comes back with two? What, what is this women and then one of them's just like, no, no refunds. So all my stolen bike on display here. Everyone has an issue with bikes there. It seems like every bike in cash converters is stolen. It seems this is the golden rule and setup of these stores. There is the cabinet of broken dreams, the beat laboratory that is made up exclusively of alley brands like Livingston and Maxwin, Hell's Kitchen, please don't buy anything from there. The arcade room, that is made up exclusively of Game Boy Advances that are more expensive than when they first came out. And of course, leaf blowers. The suburban non-leb version of buying a jet ski. Finally, the centerpiece of all cash converters. Hey, is this yours? Call police, had it recovered straight away, then sold it back to cashies immediately after. <laughs> Staff were pleasant. Price is ridiculous, however, three stars. That right there 
is a fair review, all right? Okay, so he's he's giving you justifications for why he's giving the stars as opposed to, oh, I'm a negative person and I latched onto something, one star. This is perfect. I out scammed cash converters and because I was speaking their financial language, their response seemed to go from crabby old woman to, <laughs> well played, sir. But still, nonetheless, got a shit deal for it. You can take two stars off for that, but thank you for being honest. This place is strange with questionable hygiene standards. Fair, fair, another one star that's fair. Well, there's a lot of caps locks in this. Yes, I'm sure you're not the insane one, but uh, let's find out together. Extremely unprofessional, very rude. God, old Australians hate rudeness, don't they? But I think they think everything's rude except John Farnham's in between songs chat. You know, every time I come back to Toowoomba, I always say this is definitely gonna be the last time, but this, ladies and gentlemen, is definitely going to be the last time. Love you, John. And they all look down like you're a piss ant. Is he saying peasant or piss ant, or is he combining the two, or is he an idiot? I think we all know it's option D. <laughs> and enjoy the power they have over you. Power! What are you, the last angry man? This is what these people think in their minds when they go to cash converters, that they're unwriting the wrongs of the world when they enter this second-hand poor broker that's obviously a rip. I'm here to bust your game up. You've watched too much of Current Affair, dude. You don't have the skills to look up f***ing ASIC reports. So you're not doing anything. Stay away from this shop. Oh, I stand corrected. He is doing something. He's making his voice heard. And as you can tell from the caps locks, real heard. And lucky, lucky last, store toe small. This is a good wave off to this rousing litany of complaints. <laughs> if only it was as big as the owner's head. <coughs> You're killing me. You're killing me. Two stars. <coughs> hey, you want a round two of that? We've collected, <laughs> we've collected another 20 of these. And speaking of, if you want a round two of coming to see my show, you're more than welcome to it. It's touring all across this country, and that is to pay for such expensive expositions as us exposing the antics at the second closest cash converters to us. So you can imagine how much that bus cost. We're going there right now, and despite all of these warnings, see if we can get a good bargain or not. <laughs> Let's see if we can find something good at cash converters, eh? Oh, bro, look, I think that's just enough dildos for you. Don't you need all this other stuff for the wee thing? Oh, check out the haul, look at this, and... Well, there's quite a few scratches on it. That's probably a lesson that you probably shouldn't trust things from cash converters just straight out of the... I forgot that this isn't the duty-free shop at the airport. You actually have to look at the quality of the things you're buying. Hey, not an actual dig on that cash converters. It was great. I saw the wedding ring that I just bought for way, way cheaper. I got one of my rings. I got the one that I made. I actually saw a lot of wedding rings in there and it made me really sad. I also, for some reason, I don't know why this is the case, why is there so many USB connectors in there? It's like a BP store. Are they doubling up? Is this what's happening? Is, is cash converters in that point of the business cycle that Civic Video was in when they started selling bags of lollies because DVD sales were down? And maybe it should be when they are still stocked with a very large amount of Game Boy Advance games. Not even DS. Yay, I'm gonna wear these bad boys in car. Even though if I bought them brand new, they'd probably cut about $20 more. Savings, bitch! Oh, by the by, the guys we dealt with at the cash converters were not very rude. They weren't even rude. They were just really nice people that gave us a... 
I don't know how much those f***ing sunglasses cost, but look, the point is, what do you f***ing expect? Just like and subscribe, come see my live show. <laughs> Tell us where to go next. We love these excursions where we're not going to court and instead are bringing to them the court of public opinion. Please share and comment below. Commit.